My name is Juliana and this is my story. Back in 2004, I came over to the United States and what I left behind was my grandma, my aunts in Colombia. I was born and raised in Colombia back in 1993 and I was raised by my grandmother who was disabled. She raised myself and my two brothers. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Both of my parents were here in the United States working to provide us with a better living. I always knew that they were there for us and I always appreciated the fact that they always made it important for us to learn values and morals and that's something that I appreciate. I started the supply chain management program because I wanted to do international business. I've always had that in my mind. I speak Spanish, I'm in South Florida. We have the Port Everglades and we're the getaway to Latin America, to Asia. Supply chain, it's so broad, but at the same time, it gives you the ability to go as far as you want. There are so many jobs you can find and not only a job, you can find your passion within supply chain. You can do business analytics, you can be, um, in logistics, you can be anywhere in the world that you want and that's one of the things I loved about the program. The students get out of the program with all these opportunities for jobs, careers, and I thought it was just a smart idea for me. I wanted to get into a career where I can find a job, get a job. I knew I could stay at Broward College, complete my four-year degree, and also have help for scholarships, financial aid. It was financially the best choice I made. Last year, I was in the hospital. I suffered major injuries from soccer that stopped me from being on the field playing. However, that didn't stop me from pursuing my dreams and what I wanted to do. Fortunately, I had great support from the president, David Armstrong, and his chief of staff, Adriana Fasano. During my stay at the hospital, I received a very special visit. On the day of graduation, I was very sad because I wasn't going to be able to walk to go to graduation. I remember going to the bathroom, getting changed like my mom said to because my dad was going to be there, my grandma, we were just going to watch the ceremony on TV. And when I came out of the bathroom, I saw the president and Adriana Fasano with my diploma. I was the first graduate of that year. and. I graduated with my AA at the hospital room. How many people can say that? It was a private graduation. I enjoyed it to the fullest. I can't tell you where I will be in five years, but I can assure you that I am going to be doing great things. I'm gonna take over the world. I am going to have my degree. I'm gonna pursue my master's. Hopefully by that time I can finish it and I'm going to continue to live my life, to find other things to do, to volunteer more, to help the community, to achieve and also put in time into the things I love, the things that I once said, well, I'm not gonna have the time for it, no. Five years from now, I know I can look back in my life and say, wow, I have already done all this, what's next? Our college has so many great opportunities for scholarships, for career, for advisement, for community hours as well. Our college is very much involved in the community and that's one of the things I love the most. Because of Broward College, I can seize the moment. 